What a beautiful afternoon. It's Friday. Nothing could go wrong. I'm gonna say hi to my sweet pea baby. Sweet pea, what have you done? What? Well, what have you done? Anyways, yeah, that was stupid, but... So, guess what? Out of business free sale. I've gotten all of these for free. I have no idea what to do with them except for a few. I'm definitely starting with this one that I am keeping. This one's never going. This is a... Hold on. A Revere 85. It's a really nice condition. Perfect style. Nice motor. I have to clean it up a little bit more with some uh, ear, ear things. I forgot the name. You adjust the magnification on the wall and clearness with this, depending on how far. This kind of loosens the film a little bit. This one actually opens it up so that you can put the film in. These, you snap. So when you have your film here, your film will be facing this way. This way. Not this way. This way. So that they play correctly. It will slide in here. You notch it at the holes. You slide it through. Close it. Slide it through here. Close it. And then you slide it on top while it spins. Anyways, so, yeah, that was just a brief explanation of how it works. But, anyways, this is the coolest one out of them all that I got. I got all of them for free. This one I got a week ago. Funny story, I'll tell you. I went to this, uh, you could say flea market junk store that I've never been to. And it's been sitting on this corner of Concord forever. I finally go in, I walk through, I say hello, I look around a little bit, find a nice rip-off of an Erector set called a Bildo set that I bought for $2. Sweet peas awake. I go and look around in the technology department, and on the way top shelf, about as tall as my ceiling, 8 foot, there's a ton of projectors. And I, he, I was looking at them and just staring at them. And then the lady at the front counter and the guy who owns the place, she was like, just give him one. We're not going to be able to sell them by the next two weeks because they're going out next week, out of business. I'll tell you the place after. But So he gave me this. He said, come back in a week. Today is the week after. I've had this for a week. It works. I just wasn't able to play it because I didn't have the right sized reel. I now do. I messed around with it. I got some more films, which are sitting inside the 777 Revere model. And I just kind of waited and kind of put it aside. But then when Friday came today, I remembered, oh well, yeah, I got to go back to that junk store to get these. And he said, I'll give you another one. One out of all these. And I just kept looking at them because he brought them down onto the floor for me to look at. This one caught my eye, but I just couldn't keep my eyes off the others either because I was like, does this one have sound? How much is this one worth? Does this one work? Different questions and all that. And so he, the lady and him talked again, and it's like, you know what? Is he? They talked to my mom and were like, do you want, is he allowed to take all these? And she was like, yeah, if he wants. And so I was like, absolutely, yes, no question. I took all of them. I don't know if they work. I will test this one uh, in a second. But anyways, so the thing was, is that this place is going out of business. Its name is Repeats. And if any of you live in Concord, New Hampshire, they've got some really nice antiques for sale. And it's... It's like a, like I said, a flea market junk store. But they've got really nice things. They've got arcade cabinets. They've got gumball pinball machines. Uh, Japanese, but they're still really nice. I'm going to be very sad if this doesn't work. I've got all the controls off. 
I've got to plug the projector in. Hold on. Mission accomplished. Now, without any reels, does the motor work? Does the light work? Holy crap. Now. Okay. So, it works. The only thing is, I don't exactly know how to turn it on. Okay, so I've got those two. I've got it forward all the way. Hmm. Yep, I'll figure this out later. Anyways, so yeah, uh, I've got all these. And then, surprise, there's more. If you are able to guess what this is, you win. Uh, nothing. But if you guessed in the comments that it was a original projector screen, you were correct. So you put it up, you pop it up. This goes at the bottom and you lift the piece all the way up and you hook it. And you've got this nice silver screen. And the reason why it's silver is so that the light can be seen better onto it in any conditions. So I don't have to project it onto my door like when I first got this one. I, uh, yeah, I guess that will be it for today's video. I hope that you guys like these. These I will give away to friends or anyone that is interested. I highly doubt any of you watching this live in Concord, except for about three of you, which are my friends. So that'll be it for today's video, and bye!